what's up guys welcome back to another video and uh, in this video let's talk about authentication guys a large amount of people have been requesting me repeatedly to do stuff with firestore and firebase uh, in conjunction with flutter so yeah i'll i'll uh, start now and then i'll make uh, like a series of videos detailing how to do uh, how to use firestore in your applications how to use firebase to perform authentication in your applications how to write complex queries in firestore how to manipulate data uh, with firestore uh, framework and uh, i mean uh, all these can used in conjunction along with your flutter applications so this will be the first of i already made a video on how to integrate firestore inside your uh, flutter applications so basically this will be the second of uh, my firebase series in this video let's talk about uh, authentication authentication if you had already bought my course you would have a very clear uh, understanding of how this ha happens and uh, i mean how to do this uh, uh, so in simple terms authentication is highly essential for any application right you, in case you need to make use of sign up for your application or in case you need to have uh, access restricted to certain areas of, of your application then you need to bring in an authentication system which enables users to sign up for your application in order to have access to those uh, restricted areas right so uh, firebase out of the box it provides authentication providers for a lot of uh, third party companies that is like google facebook and twitter and github and all those it also has an inbuilt uh, authentication system wherein you can use an email wherein you can create a user with a email and password and then uh, use that particular account to uh, log in inside your application uh, so in this video let's see how to perform some basic authentication in your flutter applications and manage the authenticated users as well uh, in our next video we'll see how to do the social authentication and so on and so on so uh, now that we have started dealing with fire okay first we'll get into pubspec.yaml and uh, get the dependencies for this particular uh, task uh, we'll need firebase underscore auth and uh, cloud underscore firestore all right that is done uh, now uh, i have already integrated firebase inside this particular application if you uh, have no idea how to do that i have already made a video on how to bring firebase inside your flutter applications i'll add a link below to that uh, link in the description to that particular video kindly watch it once so that you get a uh, get the steps and then integrate uh, firebase inside your flutter application before continuing with this video okay now that this is done and we have plugins and we have brought in firebase as well let's get into main dot dot i have removed almost all of the code from here uh what we'll do is we'll start splitting the code okay so i'll have a home page dot dot and uh, uh sign up page dot dot login page dot dot okay these three pages will contain specific codes for these three particular actions home page is the dashboard page that we that will get displayed as soon as the user signs in or logs in uh let's get into main dot dot file first okay uh now that we have all these three let's just make one as a home page login page oh login page doesn't exist right let's go ahead and first build the login page and then uh, get back into that so here we need first we need a uh, material uh material dot dot okay and uh let's just use a stateful widget like we usually do stateful widget uh, login page okay and here we can if we use a scaffold here i think we can directly use this yeah we'll use a scaff and inside this uh, what I'll, we'll have a couple of values as well okay uh email and password we have and inside this scaffold this where we'll have the login form now already i have discussed a large number of times on how to build uh, forms in your application so what i'll do is i'll just you know uh, 
quickly run through this code or even I'll if I have the code somewhere I'll just copy and paste it so that we can get the form quickly all right uh, we have finished the login page code as you can see here I have simply added a couple of text field guys nothing fancy in this and a couple of buttons that's it one for logging in and another one for signing up now we can go ahead and add this here and uh, below this I'll add a set of named routes again once again if you had bought my course uh, I covered routes in a complete I mean covered routes in a separate video I think string um, widget builder this will be an object oh sorry and here I can simply give a landing page uh, you understand what I did here right I'm simply calling this page whose home page is the login page so always will be shown the uh, login page at first once the user successfully uh, suppose say for instance if the user taps on sign up so we'll first write the code to handle sign up and then uh, tackle the login function so we'll get into sign up page sign up page will look somewhat sim exactly similar to this page right so what i'll do is i'll simply and this is exactly similar to uh oh, wait to say folks sign up but page also we have a sign up page now and uh, let's go ahead and include that in main dot dot as well so uh, sign up this is a named router we are specifying uh, uh, giving the name for this particular route predefined in this is uh, this uh, route is defined here with this particular with this particular name and wherever we are using a push named and pushing this name it will automatically pick up this route okay uh, now we have two pages the login page and the sign up page and uh, we have a home page as well but we haven't written anything here uh, shall we finish this as well and then continue from here yeah we'll finish this as well home page will not have nothing but a single button for logging out guys that's it so import uh, all right now we have a, a text i mean uh, not a text yeah a text right in the center saying you are now logged in and uh, we have an outlet button uh, that says log out that's it right save this now we have three pages sign up page home page and login page we have written code for everything we'll add a root for this as well here uh, now that we have roots for everything let's go ahead and write the actual functions that will help us to uh, uh, log in and navigate through these pages guys so first let's start with uh, sign up so here i need to just give on pressed navigator uh, dot off context dot uh, push named uh, sign up right yeah sign up now that uh, the user is able to get into sign up page he should be able to create a uh, account for him here inside the on pressed first let's import fire auth firebase auth import uh, firebase auth dot dot okay and here we can simply now uh, say firebase auth dot instance dot create a user with email and password and we have the email and password here so email sorry we shouldn't give like this it's email uh, email password password okay uh, then what we need to do is uh, signed in user uh, here okay uh, now that the user is created uh, all uh, firebase the user management is completely with their side guys we can't 
uh, I mean, we can just use like four fields. Uh, I mean, access the user object and uh, make use of the values that it provides, right? So in order to have our own custom user management system, we need to uh, store these details somewhere specifically in a collection and then make use of it from there, right? So uh, our next step, once the user creates uh, his account, our next step would be to take his details and store it somewhere so that uh, whenever he logs in, he can, we can simply pull those extra details from the particular uh, document and then uh, display it to him in his profile page. So we'll do that for storage and all that activities, we'll have a separate uh, folder services. And here I'll do the user management, management dot dot. Okay. And uh, in this, what I'll do is go ahead and cloud fire store dot dot package. And uh, I'll have a class user uh, management okay and inside this class i'll have a method store user okay store new user would be a more appropriate term store new user store new user and inside this i'll be storing a particular user uh, i think we need the context also right in order to navigate the user we need to have some wait i'll show you why we need the context later so uh, yeah, Firestore dot uh, instance dot collection uh, users dot add uh, document. I'll have an object dot then Cool. Uh, then we'll need to navigate the user to the uh, dashboard page, right? For that, for navigation, we need the context. Otherwise, how would we know uh, from where we are going to navigate, right? Or you can create a global key and use, I mean, uh, let's not dive deep into that. Uh, I don't want to confuse you guys, that's it. So uh, get into sign up page and then along with the, what was that? user management dot dot and save it value now we need to just use navi oh navigator won't be available here right import uh, navigator is available and widgets widgets dot dot now navigator will be available navigator dot uh, off context dot pop we need to pop it once and then we need to navigator dot off context dot push replacement named uh, the root name would be what was that home page right now uh, I hope you understood what's happening here guys we are using the firestore plugin to add a users collect create a users collection and then add this particular document we didn't add anything uh, email user dot email UID user dot UID okay uh, we are using the Firestore plugin to create a users collection and add a particular uh, add the new user who signed up for our system and then we are navigating that user to the uh, home page now why did I use navigator dot off context dot pop and navigator dot off context and once again push the replacement uh, page the reason is that and also why did I bring the con context from there because we need to know from where we are uh, popping or navigating right we are inside the sign up page and we already have the uh, login page in the same stack as well so there is the login page at the bottom and sign up page at the uh, second level and uh, if the 
if we push the home page now it will become the third level which means that the back will be available navigating back will option will be available to the user that's not a ideal scenario right so we need to prevent that in order to prevent that i am popping once so i'll get back to home page and then i mean i'll get back to login page and from there i am simply using a push replacement name which means that it will uh, take the login page out and then replace it with this home page right so in our stack now we will have just the home page in the navigator stack we will just have the home page which means that the user cannot go back once he has logged in he cannot go back to the login page right so that's the reason why i am using these two statements here and uh, now that i have written the sign up page uh, yeah the sign up is handled let's move on to login page login page we just need to log in from here right so navigator uh why navigator fire oh i didn't import the firebase auth dot uh, instance dot sign in with uh, email and password uh email sorry email password password cool and uh, password we need to obscure the text password password and uh, dot <laughs> this user i am simply giving user right but it it is technically a firebase user guys okay you need to give it like this i am simply doing this because it's a demo right uh here i'll simply print e e whereas here i'll simply do navigator dot uh of context dot push replacement named uh home page you understand why i just used the push replacement home page right because uh, if the user tries to log in from our login page itself the login page is the only one that's present in our navigator stack now so uh, we can simply use a push replacement name to replace the uh, login page with the home page right so i'm just using this push replacement named now login and uh, sign up are handled the next thing we need to do is uh, log out to do log out just get into home page and here uh oh here as well i need the inside this i'll simply do firebase auth dot instance dot uh, sign out dot then I don't think I need to explain much guys since it's pretty much exactly the same that we have done in our previous uh, two pages. All right, sign up is handled as well. Now uh, ensure that get into authentication and ensure that uh, you have enabled uh, sign in method you have enabled email and password. That's done. Now uh, get into now as you can see here I don't have a users collection right let's see if it gets created whenever uh, the user tries to run our application so uh, I'll close my visual code editor I'm confident of my code guys it'll run perfectly I haven't made any errors so far now before running the application as you guys probably saw I didn't talk about uh, validating the fields right we need to validate whether the user i mean we need to validate all our text fields we need to find out whether the user has entered a, a valid email or the user has entered something in the first place all those validations we need to perform right but i haven't done anything here because this was pretty much a basic demo uh, whereas in the course in which i i mean in the course i have covered the authentication i said i have covered the authentication right there i have explained in detail how to bring in validators how to bring in a logo as well in your uh, field i mean in your form and all that 
so yeah uh, i just wanted to mention that here guys it's kind of a shameless plug anyway let's run the app and see what happens mm -hmm. all right now that we have our app running successfully on our mobile device let's just try tapping on sign up and see if it works wow all right uh, it navigates successfully i'll go ahead and create a user so raja uh, at uh, wow that was perfect guys it simply created a new user and then simply logged uh, in right why didn't it create oh i should probably refresh let's first check authentication and see whether it has created raja at r.com yes this is the this is our user that we just created right and here xw x1 not the user id xw x1 something let's just get into database wow it created the user's collection and the user's collection has a single document which contains both our email and the user id perfectly right now you could also add in other fields like a display picture or a display name or something like that uh, but i'll talk about all of those when i ta start talking about storage right now we have this wonderful users collection in which our uh, created user is stored now uh, once we store the display picture and something else some other data related to this particular user we can simply pull the data from here and then show it on his profile page since we won't have any access to the uh, firebase system for uh, managing users we won't have access to that so we are creating this local users collection from which you can uh, pull data and display it to the and manipulate data that's it uh, all right this is fine now let's just try uh, logging out and then logging back in from the login screen so what was that uh, raja at r dot com and then simply tap on login Wow, this works perfectly as well, guys. Now we are simply uh, logged in as the user that we just created. So yeah, guys, this is what I wanted to show you guys today. Now we have a perfectly working basic authentication system with, uh, and we have also started with the users management as well. Uh, in our next video, we'll start talking about, uh, start looking into adding social authentication using Google, Facebook and Twitter to this particular application as well. And then we'll start digging deeper into uh, users, managing users in with your uh, Firestore uh, in your Flutter applications. So yeah, this is what I wanted to show you guys today. If you found this video helpful, kindly share it with someone and help them too. I know this video was a bit uh, long, it was a bit lengthy. But yeah, I wanted to cover all of these topics guys. So it had to be lengthy. If you found this helpful, kindly share it with someone and help them too. Uh, if you like this video, kindly hit the thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe to my channel to watch more cool stuff like this. And there is an entire series coming up, guys, with Firestore and uh, Firebase all together. There is an entire series coming up. And uh, this series will finally end in a complete uh, application using Flutter and Firestore. So subscribe and hit notifications to be notified uh, whenever I upload a new video. And uh, yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting me all these times. Uh, thanks. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.